Hello everyone, my name is Nathaniel Limon and today in this video we're going to be doing a deep dive into my new song called I'll See You In The Morning. It's a fairly new one, it came out about 4 or 5 weeks ago as to when I'm going to be releasing this video. This is published and a week later, next Friday, I'm going to be releasing a new song called Find Me. Everyone that's watching this video here can go support my new song. Even right now, even though it's not came out yet, you can go listen to my previous song called I'll See You In The Morning. Go listen to it right here. I'm going to have like um, a card up, I think, somewhere around here. With that being said, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. I'm going to ha be having a, an Among Us character walking around. I want everyone watching to go subscribe to this channel. First things first, we're going to take a look at what actually defines I'll see you in the morning. And this is kind of just going to be more of a um, more of a stem like look through is to see as to what makes up I'll see you in the morning. It's not a lot of stems, but there is a lot of thought that went into the lyrics and timing and things like that. I think someone even said that I I sounded flat. Just an FYI, I don't use any auto-tune on my vocals. I want all of my songs to sound original in terms of my vocals. I don't want it to sound produced or anything like that. I mean, obviously I produced it and mixed it, but I don't want it to be, I don't want it to be auto-tuned to the ground. So I just don't add any auto-tune. Now with that being said, let's go back to the video. First things first, let's dissect the first part of the song. The first part of the song is first introduced with a lonely little piano, which is quickly interrupted by the distorted vocals, which in case you don't know how the vocals sound without the distortion, they sound something like this. It's pretty, um, it's pretty strange to say the least. Anyway, so then I was like, okay, there's no way I'm gonna have this without any distortion because holy hell, my voice just sounds so lonely right here. It just, it sounds better with distortion, I think. But so I have this piano right here. I think it was a cheap little piano. I, I don't know, it was a free piano. Numa player, yep. Got it off of YouTube. And I have this Juro, this Juro synthesizer. Sounds like this. And then to kind of like lead us into the actual song itself, because this is just like the intro or just like a quick little interlude of a musical segment is what I would like to call it. To lead us into that, to lead us into that first verse, I quickly introduced the idea of vocal chops. So I took the vocal track right here and then I, I, I duplicated it at least uh, two to three times or four. You hear that? And then um, up here, I didn't actually copy and paste. What I did was I just I just played it four times, like the bass right here. Sounds like this, separate. And quickly get us into here. By the, by the way, these are the other lyrics for the, I mean, these are the other um, vocal tracks for this. They're both on the left and right channel if you if you know anything about that to really establish what vocal range i was going to be singing in for this song i reversed the vocal track of of this part right here or this part right here actually and then um i reversed it and put it right here pretty neat pretty neat it was kind of just like establish what vocal track i was going to, i mean what vocal range i was going to be singing in. and then right here i do the same thing with both um, and then I do the same thing right here with honing in on that sort of production of a muddy kind of water, water down production right here. Ground, ground, ground. And then to enter in, to enter into the, uh, to enter us into the actual chorus itself, um, I add these sort of, uh, I take away the distortion from the kitchen you don't seem so hasty to get it done your life was never really any fun yeah see so to take us into the actual chords itself because it, the chorus doesn't have any sort of distortion to it vocally right here actually if you listen to this i have about 10 tracks of just me singing a crowd effect and it sounds like this See, the interesting part about this song is that the chorus only repeats twice, which typically I'll repeat like at least like three or four other times in the song. 
but this time it only loops around two times and that's because i wanted to avoid i wanted to avoid repetition so in this part here i kind of just like do other vocal and production techniques get the ending of the song i modulate it to a higher key so you have the original key and then it goes down the key for this part right here when it kind of sounds like it's getting darker like it kind of sounds weird but then it makes sense in the context of this so this is actually like introducing the fact that there's a lower register in this song there's a lower key that we modulate to and then i quickly modulate not to the original key but to the key above that and i came up with this part right here oh well, i did i did that by i did that with the drums What I liked about this song is that there's not much when it comes to the complexity. It's a very simple song with a very simple meaning in terms of what it's trying to accomplish. So in this case, it's it's a song about mental health and fighting these battles and these demons and and within yourself, right? So so I had a friend that used to struggle from this. And I remember telling him one time, hey man, you'll be all right, dude. And I remember being honest with him and I told him, as you can imagine the context of the scenario that I'm talking about, I told him I would see him in the morning and that everything will be okay. But I haven't shown him this song and I don't think I'm going to because I do say that every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie, as in like, you're lying, like you're not all right. You know, you, you say you're fine, but you're not. So every word that comes out of your mouth is a lie. Does that make sense? Take apart more tracks right here before we end off the video. So I had, I had this basic, basic drum drum beat right here. Let me get this microphone, it's making too much noise. So I had this basic drum beat going and then I had some synthesizers. This was like the main synth, I think. And then this was a bass, this was a bass synth. And if you remember in my video from the previous week, I said to Jack Gruber, hey man, you should definitely experiment with an electric bass. So I have an electric bass and a synthesizer bass. It sounds pretty neat. When you blend when you blend the two it sounds like this that's gonna be all for me today folks thank you for sticking around and listening to this video i'm gonna have the song right here or right here in terms of when you can go listen to the song itself and make sure you subscribe and like because next week i'm going to be publishing a new song called find me and, and i actually shot the music video with one of my friends named ezra rodriguez thanks my guy Go check his stuff out. He's got awesome material out. And I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> rep it, rep, 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 rep it, I want to pull and production techniques. Um, like at the end of the, like the, like at the ending of the song.